Bless squad, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Blessed Out. So I say to bless y'all with another video here on Bless to Invest. And today we are here to talk about saving, saving money, and learning how to save money. Because on this channel, we mainly talk about investing, but to invest, you have to save money. Um, side note, I was watching like an Austrian economics type thing, and they were talking about how saving and investing is one and the same. Because without your savings, there's no... Um, ability to invest so that's like a side note how investing and saving is pretty much the same exact thing um, so what I'm going to do um, today is I'm going to show you my top five tips on how I personally saved a lot of money so I can start investing and how to really get started and get the ball rolling and learning to save let's say a thousand ten thousand twenty thousand um, dollars so you can really get started so my first tip is set a goal definitely set a goal what I recommend is have three to six months um, expenses set aside if anything goes wrong. And as you can see now, we're in a pandemic. We have the Corona virus and nobody can go anywhere. People are losing job, losing their job, filing for unemployment, getting their stimulus tech checks and really struggling. So um, this should show you how important three to six months expenses is um, anytime, not even during it just to have on the side because you never know what life can throw at you. So uh, definitely three to month, month, three to six months um, expenses. And then on top of that, if you want to set another goal on top of that, let's say you want to, again, uh, start investing and you want to put $5,000 in. So calculate your three to six months. Okay. I need, let's say two grand, throw a number out there. Let's say I need two grand for uh, three to six months uh, savings. And then I need another thousand dollars to start investing so calculate that figure that out and that for me i think that's the best goal uh to set find the three six months and then the secondary goal for investment purposes so number one is definitely set a goal uh the second one i'm gonna break down a little bit more for y'all because um talking to you it's something it's a little bit easier for me to explain it while i'm showing you and that's gonna be writing down a written budget figuring out how much you need on the weekly, monthly basis that you need to um, need to survive. So figure that out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to transition into this. All right. So what's good, guys? So now we are looking at the budget, how to manage a budget and how to understand how to create your own budget. So this right here on the right hand side is what you call a balance sheet. I got this from a guy called Robert Kiyosaki. Um, I'm quite sure some of y'all have heard of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you have not, uh, make sure you read that book. It's a very inspirational, educational book and gets you on the path to understanding finances and how finances work. So with this column, you see you have four columns here. You have your income, you have your expenses, you have your assets, and you, you have your liabilities. Your income is going to be your job, uh, your side hustle, maybe at like Uber or something like that. Just wherever you're getting money from your expenses are going to be your everyday expenses like your car. Uh, maybe you have rent. Maybe you have a cell phone. Maybe you have uh, gas. Maybe you have membership, stuff like that. That's going to go on your income in your expenses column. So this is what we're going to basically do. We're going to going to uh, fill up these different columns and get an idea where our money is being allocated to. So I wrote out a sample budget for y'all, as y'all can see here. And what I do with my budget is I divide it monthly. So I do a monthly budget. So let's say I even get paid uh, two times a week or weekly. Even if I get paid, uh, let's say for this sample, a thousand dollars a week, I'm going to write it out as a monthly budget. So we're going to take the monthly income and put it here. Same thing with the 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 Uber. So let's say I, I do rise and I make fifty dollars a week. Over that month, we're going to say I make two hundred dollars um, in Uber in a week. Next one, the last one for income, I threw investments in here. Let's say you have an investment portfolio and maybe you're getting dividends. Maybe you're getting uh, I don't know, maybe you're flipping stocks and you're able to make two hundred dollars um, in a week consistently. So that's going to be your income column. Just write down everything you have income wise um, and what is coming in. So for this sample budget, you have four thousand. $600 coming in every month. So that's what you want to write down. Next for the expense column, you want to write down everything you have expenses for. 
And these are going to be called your hard expenses, things that aren't going anywhere, things that are going to be here uh, just to keep you, you need these to keep you alive. Basically, like food, you need food, car, you're going to need your car, uh, cell phone, you're going to need that. Uh, you're going to want your hair care to look right because you want to look good, of course. Rent, you need that. So write all your expenses, your main expenses that you cannot live without right here in the expense column. So this is just a sample one. Um, it totaled up to $2,500.40. So write all your expenses out. And what you're going to do when you have both of these things, you're going to realize, okay, I have my income, I have my expenses. This is going to be totaled right here. So you're, you're 4000 a month. Um, and then your monthly hard expenses, stuff that you need um, is going to be totaled right here. And you're left with two thousand dollars and uh, 60 bucks. So with the remaining money, what you're going to decide is, OK, these are going to be going to your random expenses, like your generic expenses. Maybe you have um, you like to go out on the weekends and shoot pool or you like to go bowling or you like to do whatever. Those are going to go into your your minor expenses your random expenses. So um, you're going to have a random expense column where you're going to do the same thing with the expenses here, but it's going to be um, just a slightly different because they're not, they're not hard uh, expenses. You don't need this stuff to survive. Um, and then I put an example here, uh, the remaining of it. So let's say you want to put a thousand dollars a month into your savings. You're going to put a thousand dollars in and then the rest is going to go into your random expenses column. So what you want to do, you want to have a direction for every single dime penny that you get. It needs to be written down exactly where and what this is going into. So if it's not being spent, it needs to be saved. If it's not being saved, it needs to be invested or put somewhere. Just have a place for the money uh, you're spending. So. Whether even if it's even if it's just sitting in a checking account, just have a, a, a goal for it, have a purpose for it, have a direction for it. Um, I learned a lot about this on Dave Ramsey. If you haven't heard of Dave Ramsey, he's a pretty cool guy. Not a fan of his credit card ideology, but the basics of finances and how to budget. It makes a lot of sense. So make sure you have a purpose for all of every dime that you make. So have your income set up. Four thousand a month, your expenses all written down here you're left with uh your two thousand dollars and then you you pick pick a direction for how much you're saving and then how much you're putting into uh the generic expenses that you may uh you may be doing on the month all right so also i have here for yearly and quarterly expenses because i understand a lot of people don't pay everything every every month they might pay every quarter or they may pay yearly uh, sometimes they have credit cards um, that have a yearly fee. Sometimes you have insurance, for example. I know for me personally, my insurance is not paid every month. It's paid every quarter. So what I do, I set money aside every month so I can pay the quarter expenses off. So let's say my insurance is a thousand dollars every quarter. Um, I think it's like twelve hundred or something like that. I can't remember the exact number. But what I do, I set money aside. Uh, every month until it fills up to to when uh, I have to pay that uh, insurance bill. So let's say, like I said, it's it's let's make the math real easy. Let's say it's twelve hundred dollars for your um, for your insurance. What you're gonna do is divide that by four or divide by three and get four hundred dollars every month that you're gonna be putting in toward uh, car insurance. And so you're gonna put that in a separate fund. When so when that bill does come around, you will have the money saved up um, that you can pay it without any issues. And it's already calculated within your expense column. So that's what you're going to do with that. The same with the yearly um, divided by 12. So let's say for me, I have like an audible membership, which I only pay once a year. Uh, I think it's like two hundred dollars or something like that. So I divide that uh, by 12 and I'm able to come out with like a. Uh, what 20 bucks a month something like that so I, I i put 20 dollars into a fund to prepare me so by the end of the year i don't have to be scraping for money i know over the past year i've saved enough money where i can just pay it without any issues so that's the game plan for that that's how you design a budget 
um, what you're going to come up with, if the numbers don't work out, that means something may need to be cut out or you need to rearrange your budget and figure out what needs to be cut out. So maybe uh, you're shooting pool every month and it, it's taking too much out of your budget and you're in the negative. So you need to you need to delete some things to figure out, OK, I can't do this anymore. I need to uh, change these numbers around to make this work. Uh, but writing this out and understanding where money is flowing is really going to help you and figure out, OK, um, if I'm saving a thousand dollars a month, I know in six months I'll have six grand in my bank account in 12 months. I'll have 12 grand, et cetera, et cetera. And you can also accelerate the process uh, by doing side hustle, stuff like that. So that's basically how you break down a budget, how you write down a monthly budget. And this income uh, statement can really help you. Uh, figure out how to do that. So hopefully that helped and I'm going to get back into the video. So as we can see, the budget is very, very important, which brings me to tip number three. Um, I've definitely talked about a little bit while I was talking about the budget, but as you can see, cutting out expenses is very important. If you have movies you go to every week, if you have nails to get done, if you got your hair cut every week, if you had buy your, your latest Jordans every single week, like me, that was my big problem. It was, it was food. And Jordans. I, I know I don't look like it uh, because I, I do work out pretty consistently and I try to kind of watch what I eat but like if I didn't I'd be 300 pounds because I eat a lot and the Jordans I used to buy I used to buy so many shoes but then I started writing down my budget and figuring out what goals I wanted to obtain. I wanted to have three to six months savings. I wanted to have some money aside to invest and you start to realize like look you need to decide uh, what your priorities are. And sometimes the priority of getting another shoe when you have 10 shoes, 20 shoes, me like 50 shoes in your closet, there's no point in getting another pair of shoes. Or there's no point in getting another set of clothes because you have clothes. Or there's no point in getting that brand new car when you're going to be making payments on it and it's going to set you back six months. So really look at your overall budget and cut out expenses that you don't need. It's not it's not necessary to go um, and do different things every week when you know you have no savings. So figure that out. That's gonna be something you are gonna have to look at personally, figure out, okay, um, I don't have any money, but I'm going out every week doing this or doing that. So figure that out um, just for y'all. Look, it's, it's gonna be a really one-to-one -one uh, with yourself, it's very hard. It's easier said than done. It's very hard for me. Jordans and food was very hard to do. So definitely do that. Cut out some expenses, and you're really going to see the money start to grow and snowball. So you can get those goals that you want to get done, uh, savings wise, obtained quickly. Uh, the next one I want to say is also a side hustle. A side hustle is really cool. A really cool idea especially when you wanna hit goals way faster. So if you're working a job and you're working 40 hours and you do a little bit of Uber on the side, I used to do this back in the day. Um, I had the job, but I wanted I had, I had wanted to get a little bit of extra income. Uh, I used to go on like traveling a lot, so I wanted some extra money for that. So with that, doing Uber, you're making $100, $200. Let's say you do it a couple of hours a week you can make $200 and that can go straight into your savings account. And when you start hitting those targets, you can hit them a lot faster. So now you have your job where maybe you're putting $300 in a week and then you have your Uber when you're putting another $200 in, that's $500 on a week. And by the time it's the end of the month, you have what, two grand in your savings and you're that much closer to your goal. So taking up another side hustle, just something you can do maybe about maybe two or three hours uh, a day or so just to really get the ball rolling. That's what we're talking about. Hitting those goals, knocking them out quickly. And this is like the best way to do it. Increase your income. Uh, the next one and the final one is that I really personally like is make sure you have a bank account. Have your main bank account and divide it up. So let's say for me personally, I, I have three banks. So my first bank is a pure savings account bank. So I put my savings in that bank and I don't touch it. I don't know where the card is. So um, if an emergency comes up, it's hard to access that money. So when you get your savings bank, put it somewhere where you can't access the money quickly. Because if you're going to go get the money, you know it's an emergency. So you have to go to the bank. The card's gone. 
It's just a hassle to get to the money, but you know the savings account is there. The second one can be for general expenses, stuff like that. Maybe you're going to be paying bills. Um, that's going to be your, your car. That's going to be your, your electric, your rent, etc., etc. That's going to be your bill section. The third bank is going to be your um, discretionary expenses, maybe your gas, or maybe you want to go to a movie or something like that. It's just kind of like a fun account. Uh, what's a little bit more looser, a little bit more discretionary. If that hits zero, it's not that big of an issue um, because it's it's just something you have fun. It's just a little extra money you have laying around. So you have your bills, you have your savings, and then you have your discretionary money uh, just to have fun. Really, this is more about discipline because um, I know some people will struggle with saving money. If they see the money, they can be like, oh, yeah, I want to spend it, I want to spend it. But if you can't get to it, that's when it gets a whole lot easier. Just, okay. I can't see it anymore, but I know that it is accumulating because I'm consistently putting money in there every month, even though I don't uh, know how much it is exactly and I don't I can't access it. Um, so that's the five tips on how to save money, how to save money quickly. Um, if you have any other tips or ideas, leave them down in the comments down below. And also let me know what your goal is. How much do you think is a good amount to be saving is it five grand is it 10 grand is it 20 grand um let me know what you what is a good number for you um and let's communicate with each other give me some ideas I'm, i like talking to y'all and we can communicate back and forth in the comments if you like the video make sure you spam the like button spam that like button and also uh sub down below for more content like this and don't forget to hit the share button uh for your friends out there that need to learn how to save a little bit of money and not go out and get that smoothie every week. We don't need smoothies every week, man. So that's going to wrap it up. It's been your boy. Bless the outsource. Stay blessed. And I'm going to see you on the next one, man. Just to see tomorrow is a blessed sun. Stay prayed up is the message. Everything about a nigga blessed. Everything about a nigga blessed.